we go. Starting off. Hopefully we will uh, get to take on... Okay, here we go. Starting off. Hopefully we will uh, get to take on the Earth Cave today. And hopefully finish the Earth Cave. That's my hope anyway. Um, should be quite an interesting uh, piece of adventuring. But uh, I've done some leveling up between the stream and the last. You can see I've got up to level 24 and 25. Uh, 23 for the fighters because I was doing fighting at the Peninsula of Power. And a lot of those monsters there have uh, stoning and instant death effects that they were targeting my frontline fighters with uh, disproportionately to my mages. I do need some more items, some more soft in particular, uh, and I cannot remember if softs are available here, so I have a little bit of shopping to do before I head back to the Earth Cave. Um, don't know softs here. They might have them at that Melmon shop, so I am going to continue, because uh, Melmon does have an item shop now in this one, and I believe it does have everything I need. If not, then I'll have to head back to Elfland. I really hope I don't have to do that. But that's why my fighters are slightly under-leveled, because they were the target of more of those stoning and instant death spells. More than my red mages were. Some magic from him. And I'll just be... I'll just try to finish these battles as quickly as I can. Get us over to Melmond. Uh, in the Earth Cave, I am hoping to do both parts of it today, so go down and fight the vampire battle, although I understand that there's uh, more than just vampires waiting for me down there. Um, and then uh, do the Titan's Tunnel, which I have read is also not the Titan's Tunnel that uh, your grandmother might have played. So that might be a little interesting as well. But I have plenty of time today. Uh, we might game over a time or two, and if so, then we'll just keep trying. Because I should be high enough level to handle just about anything that uh, the game can throw at me at this point, anyway. I've already got the Atlas Gauntlet, which can temper on the user, which is a really handy piece of armor, really nice piece of equipment. I have the Dream Staff, which casts sleep on everything. I haven't actually used that yet, I need to use that sometime. Who has the Dream Staff anyway? Maybe I'll, I'll try that out. And see how well that works on groups of enemies. I might try it in the Earth Cave a few times if we get in some of those unrunnable battles with uh, big groups. I might use the Dream Staff to try to uh, knock some of the bad guys out. Ooh, it's Darkness and Asleep, huh? For the Pirates? That's nice, I didn't realize that it also put darkness on. That's a new one. Uh, I also, on the stream here today, I have the README for this hack available um, on screen, so if I do need to check the README, I can do so pretty easily. I'm going to do my shopping here before I save. Uh, I need definitely some more soft. And let me double check my supply of pure potions. I may need some more of those as well. Nope, 81 cures, 30 soft. Uh, hopefully enough tents for the rest of the game. Alright, and 99 heal potions. Uh, and I believe... I believe I also bought... a turban for my other fighters. My other fighter. Yeah, I dropped the turban thinking I was going to pick up a helmet. But I did not pick up a helmet. I didn't have access to a helmet. Uh, in the standard collection of Mystic Key chests. I thought that there would be a helmet there for me, but there was not. So it's a long walk to the Earth Cave from here. I'm going to try to conserve my resources as much as I can. Let's try this Dream Staff a little bit more. Play around with that. See if that can take some of the... some of the damage away from me. Well, 
I thought it I thought it put him to sleep and put him in darkness status. Maybe I misread that. Maybe it was just darkness. It looked like it hit him. It looked like I missed the iguana. But not the giant. The one thing I'm hoping to be there we go, poison in the front. One thing I'm hoping to avoid is uh, actually running low on uh, on healing items, on, on hit point restoration items. I've noticed that uh, with how overpowered a lot of the monsters are in this game now, hopefully the ones in the Earth Cave aren't so bad. But um, I've, I've been taking a lot of damage very quickly, and it's uh, a little bit alarming. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm... Okay, the shadows are actually running away from me now. That's good. I hope that uh, battles in the cave aren't... aren't so tough then. Part of the reason I did the power leveling is because I just, I just don't know what's waiting for me in those caves, and if I'm going to be streaming the dungeon crawls, I don't want the streams to be... endless head-pounding while you die and die and die and die, so... Hence the power leveling, just to make the streams a little bit more pleasant. Um, being that they are semi-blind, I haven't explored the uh, these caves yet. I've only just read about them on uh, in the README and on on FAQs. So notice none of the shadows are running away this time. I wonder if, on surprise rounds, if they skip that check. Let's see if some of the shadows will run away while we concentrate on the images. Because our, our stats compared to the images are not what they are compared to the shadows. And uh, it's been a little while since I've checked the algorithms guide for how the morale stat works, or how the morale calculation works. But I think that's the first thing, if I remember correctly, that's the first thing that the game checks when it uh, rolls a monster's action, because it checks to see if the monster stays in battle based on um, its stats or its level, although monsters don't really have levels in this game, but based on your level and uh, a calculation of, uh, of its own morale. I'm not sure exactly how it works. I don't really feel like pulling up the Final Fantasy 1 algorithms guide. If you, want, uh, if you want that, you can look that up. There's a great one available on GameFAQs, the one that I use. This is a rather strange battle to run into at this point of the game. I can't believe that that imp actually attacked. I thought that all of the imps would run away. Seeing as how we are, we are the levels, we're actually higher levels than characters finishing the game. You know what, I'm going to go for the hyenas first. And let's try our sleep staff again. I'm going to watch carefully, watch more carefully uh, how it targets. Oh, never mind. My dream staff user is stunned. That's a tough one to get hit with. with all this damage that, that you're taking really adds up here. Good. Glad we got the wizard over out of the way. But that's why I don't want to run out of heal potions and uh, and cure spells from my red mages. So power level leveling will also help that because the earth cave is a very very long grind, and if a lot of battles are unrunnable, as I fear many of them will be, uh, it really could be a drain on my resources. All right, let's see let's see what tents give me for healing. Not a ton. Alright, well let's give it a go anyway. So I've already done the Hall of Giants and gotten that treasure chest. Actually, maybe I'll clear out the treasures here on the first floor. Yeah, I want to be out of this battle. At least the werewolves are running away. That's good to know that I'm my levels are high enough to uh, get rid of the werewolves. Okay. 
glad that one was runnable. Yeah, maybe I'll clear out the uh, top floor here of treasures and then go out and save again while it's handy for me. Uh, but I am going to be trying to run from a lot of these battles. I don't have a chicken knife to charge up or anything, but um, just to uh, make, make the attempt a little bit faster. This should be a trap square. Okay, yeah, and this will be no retreat. Um, I figured that that would be the case, and that is okay. I'm going to try to... do this without using any spell charges. I don't know if it's going to work very well for me. It's, it's probably not going to hit the undead. Okay, and it did knock out that bottom gargoyle. I didn't think it would work against the vampire. I wasn't sure about the earth. My top guy is getting weak already. Some of those big crits that uh, get through our absorb are pretty scary. Alright, there we go. See what we got for this one. Just cash. Just cash, alright. That's okay. Not great, but that's okay. I don't yet have a means of free healing like the heal staff, although if I remember correctly, there is not uh, a heal staff-like item in this pack of the game. Let's see if Dream Staff can knock these guys out. I'm hoping to use that to minimize some of the damage I take. If I can incapacitate some of these groups of enemies. Now this this one I probably could get away from without too much trouble. Darkness asleep. Darkness asleep. Okay, so should be all but that bottom left one should be dark and asleep. Hello, dehumanization. Thank you for for popping in. Good to hear from you. Hoping to knock off the Earth Cave today in uh, in both parts of the Earth Cave. All right. So does it tell me if they wake up? I want to see if it tells me if these guys... Okay, so it does, it, does, it does tell me that they wake up. I almost never use sleep in the vanilla version of Final Fantasy, so... I couldn't remember how it lets you know that they wake up. I, I know it's bugged in the vanilla version, so that's why I never use it, and that uh, enemies will always wake up as soon as they get a turn. This one, I believe, they just have a chance to wake up when they get a turn. All right. I'm going to use a tent here again to get a little bit of health back and save that progress of grabbing that little bit of money on the first floor. And let's head downstairs, assuming that the stairs are all in the same place in this version. I'm hoping the dungeon layouts are the same. I guess I can't say for sure. Alright, let's see if I can knock one of them out. I should be getting close to the level where the regular ogres might start to run away from me, although the morale calculation might have something to do with uh, remaining enemies on screen. So the, uh, him being present with the other green ogres there might... Ooh, miss, 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 miss. Ooh, missed all four of them. That's too bad. But uh, if I get good hits from all of these guys, these could actually take them all out. So not quite enough on the regular ogre. A good hit from my red mages have been taking out regular ogres before. I didn't roll quite high enough on all the hits there. But I still need to do some leveling in this game, so I'm not going to be running from everything. Uh, any battle that looks like I can win without too much danger of nasty statuses or losing tons and tons of health, I will be fighting here in the Earth Cave. But um, those ones that are Green Ogre, Green Ogre, and a bunch of werewolves, I will be definitely running from those. And I don't need to be too worried about my heal potions on this uh, attempt. As, assuming that the vampire is still in the same place, I should be able to reach the vampire pretty easily and get back out. 
Uh, these regular mummies should be okay. I'm going to try to preserve my Fire 2 cast, if I can, for the way out. Although I hope I don't end up regretting that. I could have targeted all four of them. That's okay. Thanks to all that leveling I did on the Pencil of Power, these, uh, these guys aren't nearly as scary as they could be. So hopefully we get a first try Earth Cave. Um, already it looks like this level layout has been altered, uh, because I don't think in vanilla you're forced to, to go down as far as I'm being forced to go down. Uh, this is kind of a rough one. Let's see if I can put some of these guys to sleep. Trolls probably might might be immune, but the bulls... Okay, so I got one bull. I thought the troll might be immune. Alright, the bull woke up, but that did waste his turn waking up, so that did I did stop one attack from coming in. Uh, those should be both fighters to take out the troll. And yeah, if I can get the dream staff off every time... Alright, they got one of them. So if that goes off first every time, that'll actually be pretty nice in taking these guys out. Okay, I should have spread my attacks out a little bit better. I need to remember uh, how much health these enemies have and how much damage I'm doing. That's part of the fun of uh, the first Final Fantasy game. Not being able to hold down A for your battle. You have to keep track of enemy health and carefully plan your, plan your hits around. Yeah, this is definitely a different layout than before. This room is kind of a maze. You have a lot, you have more choices right from the top there. You can go straight across the top right of the map in the NES version, so I can already tell that's been map edited. Because normally I skip this, this part of the room. I think there's some treasures down there. But um, normally I skip this part of the room because there isn't anything in the NES version that is uh, anything to write home about but I'm being kind of funneled here. So now I have a choice. Uh, and I'm going to go down and take a look at the treasures down there because uh, I don't I don't know what's in store for me down there. Let's see if I can put some of these guys to sleep and avoid some attacks. All right, didn't avoid any attacks that round. So there we go. So it said sleeping. So he didn't he didn't get his automatic wake up there. So he will uh, he'll have to waste another turn. So that's what I'm hoping to do is avoid some of the attacks with that dream staff. It's already working pretty well. That's a fun little piece of uh, of equipment. All right. So I'm going to head down here because I don't know what kinds of treasures are in this version and I don't know what they're guarded by. Let's see what kind of nastiness we get to run into here. Alright, the Sphinx is a pretty big threat uh, in the NES version. I don't know if they've been buffed here for this. You can, uh, they've got some evasion and good um, absorb there. Yeah, so they're evading some of my hits and absorbing a lot of damage. Alright, that's good. These guys might be immune to, to sleep the statuses. And let's see if just my attacks can take these guys out. I can never remember which of these guys have the huge defense. It's not these guys. I've also read and seen on, uh, it was Sir System Error's write-up of his run of this game, that uh, a new enemy called Metal Slime has been introduced in the in the style of Dragon Quest. Alright, so here's the spiked square. Alright, there's the spiked square. Um, and I will try the Dream Staff here to see if I can stop the Gargoyles. Yeah, that's a, Curse is a nasty one. Curse is a really nasty new effect. Okay, one gargoyle asleep. Okay, both gargoyles asleep. So that went exactly as I planned. One gargoyle woke up, the other one is still sleeping, so he'll have to waste another turn. Um, Alright, at least I'm no longer stunned. That's good. Um... Use the staff again to see if I can knock out the one that the one that woke up. I think one of them did wake up. 
or if any of them do wake up between now and then. One, that one's still sleeping, and the other one did wake up. And I just need to keep anyone from dying, so ZZ is going to need some healing pretty soon. Because I don't have any way to revive any of these characters. Alright, so there's the Earth. He had the most chance to really do the, the, the massive crits that I need to stay away from, from either my top character or uh, my third character, ZZ, there. So I'll have to do some healing after this battle. I'll grab this treasure chest and hope it was worth it. I'm assuming that uh, the other chest is also going to be guarded by a similar battle to this one. Uh, ooh, another silver sword. That's that's actually handy. I think that's an upgrade. Yes, yes, that's that, that's a definite upgrade. All right, these guys have long swords. Yeah, the falchions are not as good as the long swords for me. They have a little bit more in the hit percentage, but not as much in the damage. And it wasn't enough at last check to get another hit, so it wasn't quite enough to make it worth switching. Alright, uh, and I assume this is also trapped? Yes. And is it the same battle? It is the same battle. So let's do this. I'm gonna try to get that Earth down more quickly. Yeah, especially now that he's been fasted. I absolutely need to get that Earth down. Alright, good. Thankfully... The Earth is down. Let's see if I can put the gargoyles to sleep. One gargoyle to sleep, two gargoyles to sleep. Alright, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Um, both fighters should take out the vampire, and I think both red mages will take out a gargoyle. Yeah, they probably both could have gotten one with one hit. Now let's see if we can avoid... Alright, so the vampire's just buffing himself. The vampire should be dead after this. Oh, not quite. Alright. Let's hope we avoid a vampire attack. Good. And that battle was handled much better than the last one. And this experience is going to be very helpful in getting us up to the next level. Is this also trapped? Yeah. Okay, so this... All four of those squares must have been trapped. Um, that's unfortunate. But part of the game, I suppose. Let's see if I can... Sphinxes might be susceptible to sleep. Alright, so nobody, nobody's vulnerable to sleep. Alright, at least we got one of the Sphinxes in the first round. Yep, you'll get those two. You'll get those. And you'll get also nasty crits. By plenty of softs, so that's not much of a worry. But uh, that one character is running low on health. Very low on health. He could die very easily. Um, let's see, do I have a cure? I think I have a cure two spell on this guy, so let's use that and hope that he rolls first. Oh nope, not good luck. Sadly, we didn't get good luck, and he's going to cast his cure two spell on the corpse. Alright, there's good damage on that one. And yeah, that can happen just about any time. It got turned to stone, and then all of that attention got turned to that second character. There wasn't much I could do about that. Well, let's, let's unstone first, I suppose. Oops. My menuing is, uh, subpar today. Go. Now let's heal. So this is going to help one of those fighters catch up in experience. But not the other one, sadly. Let's see if we can just run out of here. 
don't really need the money so much. But I didn't know what was in those chests down here, so it was important that I came down here to grab them. Alright, now I can head up and around. And if the next floor is the vampire floor, then I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to fight him uh, with one fighter down, since I'm, since I'm down here as far as I am already. If I do game over, then I'll know what to do on the return trip. But I should be able, with, with my levels as high as they are, I should be able to handle it. And actually, it looks like you're kind of funneled going through here, so there's only uh, one little deviation you can take there that goes down to the Silver Sword and the money. So now I know which one of those chests I want, if uh, I do have to come back down here, but I'm not thinking I'll have to. Again, unless the, uh, the vampire boss battle ends up being overly nasty. Oh, is this another chest room? Well, I've got to go for it. See, yep, it's going to be guarded, and it's going to be another one of these. Okay. Well, it is what it is. I'm going to have to start burning some of my spells, I think. Yeah, and I have plenty of spells, so there's not much worry there. Um... Yeah, I'm using one fire two. Yeah, and I'll use a fire three on this one as well. That should help uh, to take out the vampire at least and the and the gargoyle, so minimize some of the damage that we take. Yeah, see, that's not great. Him fasting the earth, and then uh, he can saber himself. So that can be really nasty if that rears its ugly head. Great axe. I don't, uh, I don't usually use the axes, but let me take a look at the stats of the axe here. I am at 4491. Ooh, so actually I might be getting close to, if I can get to 96, I'll get an additional hit with the, um, with the falchion. But I don't know if that had a better... Okay, 40 and 96. Okay, so I will actually switch over to the Falchion, because that gives me four fewer damage, but it gives me four hits now. That gives me additional hit. So there's no way I'm going to want that Great Axe, because that's going to be 47, 85. So it's more damage, but much less on the hit percentage, and it actually takes away my extra hit. So there's the Falchion um, for an extra hit there. Ooh, and my fighter's dead. Can I trade? I can trade. Alright, good. So I can actually put that on him um, to give me a little bit more power and just give that to the dead guy. I'm glad you can uh, make that switch. You might not be able to make that switch in the NES version. I'm thinking maybe you can't. Alright, either way, on we go. And I'm going to try to run from everything I can so I can preserve as many of the spells as possible. This one's no escape. Alright, well... Actually, let's get... Let's go for the hyenas first. And see if we can sleep the other ones. Paralyze my fighter. Yeah, I'm definitely going to want that sleep to hit on as many as I can with a paralyzed fighter. Good. Cool, I actually got them all. That's nice. Um, yeah, let's see if we can just take out that hyena. Gonna take both of us? No, nope, actually won't take both of us. Okay, ogre sleeping. One ogre woke up. See if I can knock out the other ogre. See, yeah, there's four hits. 158. So it's actually more damage to do more hits, especially because you have more chances for a critical hit. Um, in another level or two, it'll be better for the silver sword to go back on. Because I'll get that extra damage. The four extra damage, I think, is the difference between the Silver Sword and the Falchion. But the the extra hit means an extra possible 40 damage per per turn on an enemy. So that's a big enough difference for me. You saw that the fighter did have four hits on the lot one. All right, ambushed, but that means I can run away. Um, yes, the Saurias do have that ability. They can. They do have a status stone on their attack. 
So thankfully, the uh, soft potions are much cheaper in this version because much more will uh, will stone you in this version. You have much greater possibility of getting stoned. All right, so let's do the same plan as before. Let's try to sleep everything just to minimize. Oh, good, it went first. That will minimize the damage we take, hopefully. Kind of force the ogres and hyenas to waste turns. Same thing, hopefully he goes first. Yes, especially with attacks like that. With all these status attacks, it's nice to be able to avoid some of them. Although I missed my missed the sleep there that time. Let's see if just both of us together can take him out. 112, and this other one should take him out. Although we did get hit a little bit. This is why I'm worried about uh, my heal potion supply with this party, because the enemies just seem to be really doing heavy, heavy damage to my party. Okay, so this is the vampire's floor. I can see it's been edited, because normally that path to the left is not there. Um, the enemy set might also have been edited in this version. Oh, is this... Is this a nasty shortcut that this version is, is famous for? This might be the nasty shortcut that this version uh, is known to have some of these that are uh, ev where every square is spiked. Let's see if this... Okay, there's... There goes that. The fire, too, should take out the rest of them. Oh, didn't quite get the vampire. That's actually surprising that he could take a fire 2 and a fire 3 and hang on. So it looks like that's what this is. I've under I've understood, but I haven't actually seen one yet, that um, this game has shortcuts built in that are just spiked squares every, every tile. So let's try another way. Because uh, there, there might be... Alright, ooh, so these guys can use stone spells now. So I actually might... Uh, could run into real trouble here with these guys if they paralyze and stone everybody. Right, glad, that's actually, I'm really glad we got out of that one. That could have been bad. With, with fewer characters to serve as targets, could have been ugly. Alright, and normally this floor also has a not worth it chest that's tucked way out in the side. I don't know if that chest is still there and if it's still not worth it. That I don't know. So these are no escape battles, but thankfully they're not all that dangerous. They're not like the nine undead battle there before, um, and they're not like the earth and vampire battle. That was not a very good dream staff casting. But that's okay because uh, we're holding on. Okay. All right. So yeah, that hyena ran away. I do believe something tells me. I have to check this to make sure that the the morale calculation does take into account the the other enemies around. Actually, I will check that other one. I'll check that other one just to see. Ooh, a zombie and cobras, and this one is a no escape battle. Let's see if I can sleep the cobras. I don't know if they are vulnerable to sleep. Boy, that zombie sure, sure hit hard. I want to make sure I have enough fire castings to take on. Watching here. Okay, so the, the snakes are susceptible to it, because I did hit one of them. Alright. So let's try and get that zombie out of here and see if I can sleep the other cobras. This is a, an unrunnable battle. My experience is really going to be uneven now, but that's okay because my one of my fighters is uh, going to catch up a little bit. The red mages have been have been staying alive much better than the fighters during my leveling. 
So unfortunately, Final there is going to be more behind, but Fantasy will have caught up a little bit. Do we just get them quickly? With the extra thousands of experience I'm going to be picking up here. But it shows just how brutal this game is, I think. Here, yeah, here's another No Escape. But here we go again. Yeah, that ice spells. I don't, I don't know if wizard ogres have that in their spell repertoire in the vanilla version. Something tells me not. Usually, it seems like wizard ogres just do things like cast ruse on themselves and uh, and maybe mute or something. Seems like they just kind of cast kind of innocuous data spells. So I see another treasure room up there. I will try to explore it here, just for uh, for curiosity's sake. Although this might be better to do later when I have uh, everybody alive. But I'm down here now. And whatever I find might be useful. Continuing on. I know a lot of these are going to be trapped squares. That's okay. Alright, so let's do another one of these jobs. Uh, I might save that other fire too. Let's go with a regular fire here. I might I might regret this. Because this fire is not going to do tons of damage, but it, it will help. Wow, I'm surprised that the vampire took so little. Because he has a weakness to it. Or he should have a weakness to it. Unless that's not the case anymore. I do want to save fire threes for both of my my mages. But that should be fine. As long as we don't get paralyzed here. Alright, glance missed. That's actually quite good. Because that hit should take care of the vampire. And that should take the gargoyle. Good. And glance, that could have been nasty had glance landed there. Let's see if this was worth coming up. Thief knife. Um, that might be a class specific. I should have taken a picture of that, actually. Okay, he can't equip it. Alright, so nobody in my party can equip the thief knife. So that's good to know. Uh, how are my hit points doing? Alright, so my hit points are doing alright. And my heal potion supply is okay. But we'll try this other chest room. Again, really just for curiosity's sake. I should have taken a snapshot of the thief knife in the chest there. Oh, there isn't another one. Alright, I was wrong. It was just that one, so let's head back over towards the vampires then. Another... Alright, so this doesn't look like a trap square, but I bet the next step I take will be another vampire-earth-gargoyle combo. No, it's not. Just money. Alright, that's... that's good. I do love this music. This Earth Cave music is fantastic stuff. Alright. This is a no-escape battle, but again, not super dangerous. Ooh, even the troll was susceptible there to uh, sleep in darkness. That's good. And if darkness works correctly, then that, that really helps a lot because the sleep will wear off, but the darkness shouldn't. The sleep ought to wear off, but the darkness might not when they wake up. So that could be good to note for later, because I'm going to need every little bit of... Uh, versatility that I can, because I, I picked a party in, for this version that's a little bit, uh, a little bit monochrome, if you could say. We don't have a lot, a lot of versatility to go around in this party. Just can't help but feel bad about all these thousands of experience that, um, other fighter is missing. He's almost to a level up. He's almost to 24. He's still got 
ten, he's 10,000 experience ahead. Alright. Let's see. Okay, we do have a trap square here, but this is for both of them, so I'm not quite as concerned. Um... Alright, yeah, let's use one of the Fire 3s, and I'll save his last Fire 3, no matter what, for the, um, for that battle. Yes, good morning, Shahali9. I thought this was about, uh, about your time of day to be getting ready for work, but I'm glad you could stop in and say hello. Appreciate that. Always great to have you check in on your, uh, in your morning when you're getting ready. Of course, for me, it's the it's the early afternoon here in Ireland, UK time. Sunstaff. Uh, I'm not sure what that does. Let me uh, let me move it to. Yeah, let me move it down to to him, and I will use it and see. I um, actually you know what I'll do. For the first time, I will look it up. We'll check it out together. Okay, so Sunstaff casts Harm. Uh, can only be equipped, looks like, by White Mage and White Wizard, but it does cast Harm when used. So actually, that's quite helpful. That's very, very helpful for me. Okay, cool. So I have a... Um, I can cast Sleep or Harm with that last mage. So I'm glad I came up into that room. That's going to be helpful for this upcoming vampire battle. All right. I'm sure that's going to be trapped, so let's get healed up. Oops. Oops. I did not... I meant to hit B to get out of there, not A to give him another potion he didn't need. All right, so let's use Fire 3 from you and just a regular fire, because these guys are going to resist everything else. And let's hope we get a good doubling damage on the vampire. Yeah, that's not bad damage to the vampire. The other fire three might get them all. But I hope putting the, uh, the readme up on the stream wasn't too much of a distraction there. Uh, I hope it proves informative when I need to look something up. But uh, at least when I look something up, anyone watching can see what I'm looking up and what I'm referring to. All right, let's use that sun staff now. Let's get a free casting of harm. Let's see if this will take him out. Nice. Not a ton of damage. Would have done a lot more damage probably just attacking. But um, cool that we got him. White staff. All right. Uh, let's take a look at that one. It should still be should still be up here. There we go. I don't know what happened with that. That was strange. Uh, White Staff casts Cure. It looks like. So I wonder if that it's not going to be the same as the Heal Staff. But can I use it to cast single targeting cures? Well, let's try it out here. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, let's do that, and, um, let's try to put the snake to sleep, because I do, I do want to save a little bit of my fire charges. I know that was going to do nothing squat to the, uh, the zombie, but I was hoping it would take at least one of the snakes out, but the dream staff should help with the snake, so these, these staves are going to be helpful for me. Especially if I can get a little bit of free healing. But he's got the white staff now, huh? And I think he's in poison and darkness status. So let's see if I can get the rest of those snakes out of here. Still not enough damage. Oh, and he's stunned. My fighter's stunned. This should take out the snakes, though. Get good rolls. All right, good. So I'll try the heal staff now. So the white staff, the heal. 
Oh, it, it didn't target, so it might actually target everybody. It might target everybody. Let's see if it does. Alright. Ah, uh, 82 damage. Ouch. And was he stunned or something? What happened there, I wonder? He must have gotten stunned and I must have missed the, uh, the prompt. Alright, up to level 25. I'm actually glad, uh, nobody got taken out in that fight. Uh, thankfully I grabbed all those chests, so when we come back down in here after we get the rod, it won't be quite as nasty. Okay, so yeah, there was the sh there's the shortcut hallway, and here's the here's the vampire room. So I, maybe I'll try the white staff again when I'm fighting a battle that's a little bit less uh, deadly. It has a little bit less potential to nerf somebody with either stone or with a nasty uh, critical. Maybe in some of those ogre fights, some of those. Ogre and, um, and Iguana, or not, uh, Iguana, the Hyena fights. Maybe one of those. Alright, so we're at the Vampire, thank goodness. And I want to be just a tiny bit judicious with these. I just don't want to waste much healing if I can help it. Okay. Yeah, I think, I mean, I think I'm gonna be doing... Yeah, he has the Atlas armlet, so he can, uh, he can boost himself with that. Alright. Ooh, I like that joke. All living things are born to die. Now that, so that's in the NES version. But just ask Melmon's cleric. Uh, that's definitely a, a nice touch added for this version, so... Alright, let's see what we draw here. I'm going to catch a screenshot. Okay, so actually not as bad as it probably could have been. Um, Atlas Gauntlet. Fire 3. Fire 3. And if all of these go off, this might even just be a one-round fight. If all of these shoot off like they're supposed to. The one thing is that red gargoyle, I'm not quite sure about its uh, resistances and hit point totals and everything else. Alright, not so bad. Uh, I don't have any more fire threes, but uh, let's just go with one more regular fire here. Ooh, slow. That's gonna really hurt my fighter damage. Yeah. Can fire get him? Not quite. Fire couldn't quite couldn't quite pull it off. Let's see if we get it to attack before he does. Yeah, that slow really um really hurt us. There we go. Here's the vampire boss down. And now we have 26 for that red mage. Put my boss X up. Alright, I hope the square...
in front of that chest isn't.